Hey there, welcome back to another video for network automation training by Panet Labs. And uh, in previous video, we discussed about how you can access the NetConf server by using Python script. And in this video, we're going to perform one of the NetConf operation that I told you that there are almost three uh, NetConf operations that are available, right? We, we saw about how uh, get operation can be performed. We saw about how get config operation can be performed and we saw about how edit config operation can be performed and as i have told you that get is used in order to fetch out the operational data then uh, get config is used in order to fetch out the running configuration or you can say op configurational data and edit config is uh, an operation that is used uh, under netconf in order to deploy some configuration onto the device so in this video, we're going to talk about how you can use get config operation in order to fetch out the running configuration. Now, the configurational parameters over here are just going to be the same in order to connect with the, with the device. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to redefine the script again, and I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to save it as XE uh, underscore get underscore config. Okay, dot PY. And I'm going to save the script and I'm going to redefine the things by saying from NC client import uh, manager. And then we're going to specify the device parameter by creating a dictionary. And we're going to say inside of the dictionary uh, as the first parameter will be IP there. And then that IP is going to be ios xe mgmtcisco.com again, which is the sandbox's IP address. Then I'm going to use the port number as 10,000 for netconf. Then I'm going to say username, uh, which is there for authorizing ourselves with the sandbox is developer. And then we're going to say that password for that particular username is C1SCO12345. And once you specify these things, then we say with manager.connect, right? And inside of that connection, we're going to create and specify the details that host is equal to XE of IP. Then we're going to say port is equal to XE of, XE of, I would say, port. Then the third parameter is going to be username, of course, and we're going to say username is equal to XC of username there. And then password is going to be XE of password. And then we're going to turn off the key verification by saying host key underscore verify is equal to false. And that's all the parameters will be and then i'll say as m import this connection as m and then we are going to uh, do uh, i would say uh, conduct an operation there by saying uh, by storing something that netconf is equal to m dot get underscore config and inside of that we're gonna specify that from which data store do you actually want to fetch out the configuration so i'll see over here or i'll say that source is equal to source is going to be one of the keyword uh, argument that you can pass here and i can say that i can target to the connection by saying m and then i can specify which type of uh, operation do i need to uh, use out of the manager.connect so i'm going to say m.getconfig and then I'm going to target that particular operation onto the source, which is one of my data store and the name of the data store is running. Okay, so it's going to fetch out the configuration from the running config and it will print out everything that you will see over there into the XML manner. So I'll say then print netconf. And then we will see what all the data it prints out. Okay, so that's as simple as this. It's just the script of two new lines that have been replaced uh, in exchange of the for loop that we use in order to print the capabilities over here We're trying to execute a get config operation against the running data store And we will see how the entire running configuration can be printed out over here 
okay so i'm gonna close this particular output and i'm gonna save this script and then i'm gonna run it as run python file in terminal and once you see this there you go and as an output there you go you see how hefty this configuration is so everything that you see onto the display this is just like the entire running configuration that is present onto the device and there is no i would say parent children relationship that and there is no organization to this data this is just a single line of data there is no space bars there is no tabs and there is no new lines that are being used for the output so you can see the entire output that starts over here rpc reply okay and then you see that that's one of the namespace information for the base data model that is being used and the actual data for the device actually starts at a tag which is here so from this data to the next information that you will see so over here you can see that inside the data there is a native xml namespace which is a cisco ios xe native then you can see the version of the data or the version of the box is 16.9 there is this boot start marker and boot end marker then you have the banner configuration there okay then you have some of the enable secret password that you see here type 5 password and the password for that the host name for the device is cisco csr 1000v and then you would see some of the interface configurations as well you can see here that you see the name the username over here uh, is a root is one of the username the privilege is 15 and the password is something you can also see that the username over here the first username is cisco the second username is developer the third username that you see is the is, is root there and every username has a password along with that then you would also see somewhere around there that what's the interface configuration and uh, usually you should find it somewhere around here mm, there you go that's the ip that's the interface interface gigabit ethernet the name of the interface is one the description is management interface only okay and it says don't touch me and the description of that and then the address that is configured is 10 10 20 dot 48 along with the subnet mask of 255255250 and then following to that you will see other uh, information as well for the other interface there you go that's gigabit ethernet 2 then you will see gigabit ethernet 3 here right and the description of that and all and then you will find gigabit ethernet sub interface which is 3.1001 and then you will see loopback interfaces that are configured there. so all this information that you can find into running configuration is just grouped over here and in order to arrange it or in order to print it in a clean manner what you can do inside the modification is you can import something called uh, a built-in library which is called xml.dom.minidom and what we are going to do we are going to use this library in order to print the xml output that we just saw in a pretty xml manner so we're going to pass the output that, we, that is stored into the netconf variable and we're going to convert it to pretty xml and how do you do that you just do that by saying print xml dot dom dot mini dom and then we are going to use a function which is say which is called as parse string and inside of this parse string function we're going to specify what file do you want to convert it so we're going to say that netconf which is the name of the variable dot xml and then we're going to say convert it to pretty xml or we're going to say dot to pretty xml there and the functions so that's how we're going to use it and we can you can actually run this particular script we we won't want to just simply print it now and we'll print it like this so i'm going to save the script and by changing just or adding just two lines you can see how python actually changes the entire running configuration into an organized manner so i'll save the script and i'll say run python file in terminal and you can see here the script is just executing and there you go.
you see all the configuration is now grouped according to their uh, requirement you see this is how it has been organized into parent children relationship so it all starts over ah, it's quite a big configuration Yeah, it's not scrolling up just a moment. Oh, I'll try to delete the entire thing. Now I'll try to read on the script. And it should be that. There you go. So if I scroll all the way up. Oh, it's still showing me the partial output and not the entire because it has some limitations the output window cannot be that big so that's why the entire configuration is not being shown but you can see how this groups up here that how the parent children relationship is occur you can see the interface configurations so you have a, a main group called interface and inside of that interface you can see that the gigabit ethernet is grouped there the name of the interface is one the description is management interface don't touch me that's the ip parameter then you have the second interface as gigabit ethernet 2 and that's the configuration of it then you have gigabit ethernet 3 and that's the configuration of that then you have a sub interface configured with all the parameters of encapsulation and vrf and then you have some of the loopback interfaces so you can see how the information is grouped there and that's exactly how you use uh, python script in order to be able to fetch out the uh, configuration now this is an entire i would say configuration that is available there but we do not really want this entire configuration to be printed out so we just want some part of this particular configuration to be printed out and how do we use this uh, part of the configuration how do we request this part of configuration in order to request uh, a configuration we are basically filtering out that particular configuration and that configuration can better be filtered out in a way that you can create a filter here and that filter will be called as let's say a variable and we let's let's refer it as netconf underscore filter and you say netconf underscore filter is equal to and this filter will be applied as an entire comment so when you have multiple lines of comment to be applied onto the python you refer to it as triple quotes okay and then you end that particular comment with triple quotes so whatever you're gonna specify inside of this triple quote it's going to be referred as comment for example if you have multiple things to be written out as a part of the comment so you say line number one comment line number two comment line number three comment right so you're using three hashes starting at every line but instead of that you can just start with triple quote and mention anything that you want okay and then you end with triple quote again and everything is going to be commented out just like that we are typing the filter that we're gonna use as a part of the command itself okay and that particular command is going to be the filter that this is the specific configuration or the interface configuration that we want according to the structure of a data model so i already have told you that there is a data model which has a name as ietf interface and that data model has different containers in it so if i talk about the data model the data model is ietf interfaces okay and the container inside of that it interfaces and the list is interface that we're going to use and this list contains various attributes of uh, interface configurations you will get the name of that particular interface you will get the description of that particular interface the type of the interface the admin state of the interface whether it's up or down and the ip parameters and every other details and in order to get to know about this data model you can actually go to google and you can use a platform or the portal which is called as netconf central so i'm just going to google ietf hyphen interfaces and i'm going to say netconf central and when i use that 
this there you go the first link is going to show you how you can actually see the data model there you go this is basically the name of the data model that you see the module name is idf interface the yang version that it, it has been written in is 1.1 this is the namespace information that you can access the yang model with and then you have different prefix information the contact who created it the organization who created it the description of the data model and then every revision date that there was some modification that were done okay and then the information the actual information starts at the container so this container you can see that this container has a description that it specifies container interface parameters the name of the container is interfaces then you can see the list of the uh, list that is part of the container is interface and then this list contains various leaves so the first leaf is name the type is string and then the description of that particular uh, leaf is there then the second leaf is description the type is string and the description of that particular leaf the third leaf is type of the interface and it specifies the, the description of that leaf as well just like that there will be different leaves that will be available and we're going to use the same uh, i would say data model in order to filter out the configuration that we want to fetch out from the device so what we are going to do we are going to use some of the details of this data model and we're going to use the same details inside our filter so i'm going to say i'm going to create a tag an xml tag that we want to use whenever we want to filter something out we use a tag called filter and we end with the tag called filter itself and everything that we want can be specified over here so we say filter opening and filter closing and then as a children i specify the name of the container that i want to use and what's the name of the container i can go back to the data model and i can see that the name of the container is interfaces so i can say that interfaces is the name of the data model that i'm going to use now i'm going to also need to specify the xml namespace information so that i can refer to that particular data model specifically and i'm going to say or copy the namespace information from the data model itself and i can say this is the information that i'm copying so i'll copy this namespace and i'll create a double quote and i specify the information inside of those double quotes and then that's my opening tag so by whenever my data model reaches out or whenever my python script reaches out to the device the device checks that okay this is the xml namespace meaning that's the data model and that's the container name that the user is trying to filter out the data from make sense and then inside of this particular container i'm going to specify the list and the list that i'm going to use is interface you see out of the container that we have that is the list that we're going to use interface and then this list is going to i would say provide the entire leaf information that we have here and i'm then going to close the list by saying interface and then close the container and everything that is there inside of these uh, list interface is going to print it out as part of the configuration or, or as like the list of interfaces that we have on to device and then i'm going to call this filter as another parameter here by saying comma and saying filter is equal to netconf underscore filter as a part of the request so it's gonna again run the get config operation against the running data store but it's gonna filter out the information till this only only the parameters of the interface configuration according to our data model and then it's gonna again print it out into pretty xml for us so i'll save this particular script and i'll try to run the existing thing over so i'll say right click and say python file in terminal run the python file in terminal and let's see what the output is so as i enlarge the window there you go it gave us the list of interfaces that is available okay and nothing apart from that the earlier i would say output was containing everything that is part of the running config but right now over here we just have some of the uh, configurations that is filtered out and the information says the first interface is gigabit ethernet one and you have the name which is part of the leaf then you have description you have type of the interface you have 
enabled status which is true or false depending on that you will get to know whether the IP or whether the interface is up or down then there is another data model that you are trying to refer this is the container so IP information uses another data model which is IETF IP this is the name of the data model and then the container inside of the data model is IPv4 and the list of that particular container is address and the leaf are IP and net mask so you can use multiple data model uh, in a nested fashion as well so this is the outer data model that we're using and there is another data model which is IETF IP that we're using so that's how you see interface 1's detail then you have Gigabit Ethernet 2's details and 3's details and that's how the interfaces can be listed over here make sense so this is the script that we used in order to figure out the list of interfaces that are available onto the device and the same Python script can be executed against n number of devices whenever you can create inventory like we like we configured multiple devices by using NetMiko uh, and, and SSH is the transfer protocol. Just like that you can communicate by using NetConf uh, with multiple devices that are available on your, pro, on your production environment and you can fetch out the list of details and you can even I would say perform complex Python operations be it exporting the file into a CSV or an Excel file and various other tasks as well. So that was the motive of this particular demo session I would say and uh, I hope you enjoyed the content of this particular video. In next video we are going to uh, configure the device interface parameters by using the output that we have according to the structure of the data model that we just used which was IETF interfaces. So I hope you enjoyed the content of this particular video and I'd like to thank you for viewing.